Welcome to another unboxing from eBay this time again. So um, it's mostly for testing um, a few other things, a new setup that I've got. Uh, trying to have both uh, cameras in a better lighting position than last time. So this is mainly for that and also for just the pleasure of uh, seeing how the uh, shipment and the unboxing goes. So nothing really terribly special but uh, wanted to try this out and share it with you. So here we have, uh, this has been um, ordered um, in August, I believe, the 23rd of August, so now September 11, which uh, is almost, uh, oh, not too bad, a few weeks, and it really wasn't expensive at all. The shipment was included in this, so pretty, uh, pretty uh, a good deal I think. We'll see depending on what's inside if it's not uh, something uh, too uh, too weird uh, from what was described of course. So as you can see shipment is really a simple, simple uh, packaging. So we'll go ahead with that. I uh, also wanted to say one strange thing that happened to me uh, last week is I tried to order more stuff. I've got about um, five or six items, half a dozen items coming uh, in already uh, through the mail. And they are, it's all paid and it uh, didn't seem to have any problems. But eBay uh, s sent a message that uh, they are waiting for something to go through because I had purchased a lot of stuff so pretty pretty weird I would I was not expecting they would uh, they would mind that I buy stuff but it seems they they've got some sort of a checkup at first so we'll see if it clears this week or not otherwise I'm gonna have to either contact them or go through another service uh, um, I must admit Amazon seems to have a lot less options and seems to be a little more expensive so I prefer eBay personally uh, as my choice. I've added a few other um, uh, websites like that that we've got in Canada and uh, we'll see if uh, those are any good. The difference would be time for delivery uh, but it's usually more expensive when it's from Canada so we'll see we'll see how that goes. Alright so let's uh, keep on with the unboxing because I seem to uh, notice the camera position is changing slowly. <laughs> we'll see to put that up. Okay, that's cool. I'm just gonna go ahead. Internal packaging seem to be quite fine. Interesting. And as you might have guessed it, it's a mosquito net. And uh, I've purchased this mostly for outside. I would like to uh, hang this um, when I go in the woods, especially uh, with the tarps that I've already gotten. I've got two by 10 tarps. So uh, I would be using those to 
do the side walls as a mosquito net and the, ba the bottom tarps are thick to prevent uh, uh, dampness or uh, marshes or, or mud to come through so we can walk easily uh, without any fear of getting dirty and the top part, that's all that's uh, missing, I need to find two uh, transparent tarps that I'm going to put on top, they need to be lightweight because they just are going to be used to um, deflect light rain or debris that fall from the trees so basically the kit is getting uh, to be more and more better Uh, now I'm going to check just to see if the second um, package is also the same, but they seem to be quite well done. And the packaging is good, incredible for the price that this cost with no shipping and uh, two of them. I've compared a lot of places around here and from what I've seen it, it would have cost me about uh, eight times more per unit. So that's two units, eight times less. Shipping included, uh, not too bad, a few weeks delivery instead of instant, but if you're willing to wait, you can have great deals, I guess. Uh, you haven't tested them out. Of course, you have to expect the quality to be probably a little bit less than what you paid local, but since you can buy more, usually it's uh, more interesting because if you damage it, you can replace it or repair it with the other product. So usually what, what I do now is I purchase two very cheap products and when I have an issue with one I combine two together to make one better device at usually roughly half the price of something I would buy locally. So it all depends on what you want to do and what you're willing to uh, spare as time, time consuming. Time consuming. Again, the same kind of uh, trying to remember. Oh, well, I'm lucky I'm gonna have it on the, on the video. Try, trying to remember how it's folded, so if I want to fold them again, I'm gonna be able to. Alright, so pretty interesting. probably do I will probably do an edit to show what it uh, does once it's hanging from the uh, the ceiling that way we'll see how wide of an area it covers I hope it's gonna cover at least um, four feet from the ceiling to the ground if it if it's wider it's even better because my tarps are eight feet wide and ten feet long when they're folded it's actually 12 by 10 but I'm gonna fold the sides so water doesn't uh, uh, rush in if there's a slight rain or a bigger uh, amount of rain coming down so yeah pretty much uh, what uh, was described at the moment seems to be good I don't see any problem with the meshing, the meshing seems to be even. We'll see if there's any holes when I um, hang it from the ceiling. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching this first part. Uh, maybe look uh, for the second part later on and uh, I'll try to add the uh, result of uh, what it does when it's fully opened. So have a nice day. Bye bye.